Next, I'd like to invite Rob Brzezinski up as a UA student with an uh, interesting perspective. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm in the unenviable position of being for concealed carry, but against this bill. Uh, I'm worried that people legally carrying firearms or I'm not worried that people legally carrying firearms are going to go on a rampage or that police are going to shoot those who legally carry. Police are well trained in that regard. They deal with the current concealed carry laws off campus and they seem to be doing a pretty good job. Rather, I'm worried that the university will, excuse me, the university will institute the portion of the law that says the university may prohibit weapons in a building and shall provide temporary and secure storage for the weapon. The only time a weapon goes off is when the trigger is pulled. A weapon in its holster cannot have its trigger pulled. It is the primary job of the holster to provide safe and secure storage of the weapon. If this bill becomes law, I firmly believe that the university system will have a knee-jerk reaction and proceed to ban legally concealed carry firearms inside its buildings. If that occurs, then the concealed carriers must place their firearms in that secure storage. This is a purposeful and negligent action that intentionally increases the odds of a firearm discharge. The only time a weapon should ever be touched is when the, intoner, the owner intends to use it. By instituting a ban in buildings and a requirement to store the weapon, owners must now unholster and reholster their weapons multiple times a day, thus increasing the chance of an accidental discharge. In a discussion I had with another student, they said, why don't they just take the holster off too and keep the firearm in it? Well, the trouble is that the holster is designed to not come off. The, the, the holster is designed to stay on the person. It is rather cumbersome to remove a holster, generally re requiring you to uh, take off your belt and then slide it off. In addition, it is highly unsafe to remove a holster with a weapon in it, as it could be dropped or aimed in an unsafe direction, which are both large safety violations. <laughs> so, to Belief Chief Speakin and all the other administrators at the University of Arizona, if this bill passes, I implore you to not intentionally create situations for accidental discharges. Other concerns I have about this bill. If, what if somebody loses their key or forgets their code to secure weapon storage? What if somebody simply leaves their weapon there for a long period of time? What if the secure storage is full? If the storage is full, does that person meet the letter of the law? Because secure storage is no longer provided to them, would they then be allowed to carry into classrooms? While I'm not against them carrying, this creates a legal loophole that only, that only catches people trying to obey the law. The criminals don't care. against this bill as it does not follow proven legislation and practices for safe carry on college campuses. Of the main campuses that have allowed concealed carry prior to 2011, there have been over 300 semesters in which firearms have been legally carried by staff and students. During this time, there have been no firearm deaths, no lost or stolen firearms. All in addition, these campuses do not have the requirement that they must store their weapon before entering a building. Weapons that never leave their holsters can't go off. Do not make an otherwise safe activity more dangerous. This is disingenuous and frankly negligent to claim a concern for safety and then take deliberate action to make concealed carry less safe. Thank you.